you, ladies and gentlemen, time to rejoin the action as we're coming to you live from Copenhagen! Time to meet the players, and it's time to meet the acid, Paul Nicholson! and gentlemen, it's time to let loose the Terrier, Peter Fourth match of the evening session here at the Danish Darts Open in Copenhagen and it features the Renaissance man Paul Nicholson looking to maintain his upturn in good form by and large once again after reaching the semis in Gibraltar a fortnight ago. His first semi-final since regaining his tour card at the start of last year and his first European Tour semi-final since 2013. Plenty to admire about the way he's come back into good form although he did have a bit of a bad time of things last weekend in Wigan with a, a blank, a double blank in his two matches on the Pro Tour at home and he's up against a man who is making his first European Tour appearance of the year and indeed his first as a PDC Tour card holder. He of course had a bit of time on the Euro circuit last year without a Tour card and it's welcome back to the European stage for Peter Jakes, the 45 year old from West Yorkshire who is certainly on his day somebody who has to be respected and feared in equal measure, Dan Dawson. Certainly is. Very dangerous player. Paul Nicholson knows that because the two times they've met before both last year, he was beaten convincingly by the Terrier. But look at Nicholson over the course of this year. Things have started to happen for him and it is down to graft and hard work and perseverance and belief and it wasn't a massive surprise to see him go on a run and put some results together because he's been threatening to do it however a run to the semi-finals on that european tour i mean that, that was perhaps further for me especially he was not far away from an incredible comeback and making the final in that semi-final against adrian lewis but if you look at the players championship series of events and yes all right he went out first round both times at the weekend but he averaged 97 in, in both games and only lost the last leg beside Game on. There are only 11 players who are averaging more than Paul Nicholson over the entire course of the Players' Championship Series. Now, granted, he's not been going deep into them, but that's because people are playing well to beat him. 41. So he's playing at a consistent mid-90s level, and that as in mid-90s average, not mid-90s the decade. He's not going out there like listening to On a Ragger Tip by SLC wearing a shell suit. You love that, don't you? I do Have love you that. Have you just suddenly discovered that? By... No, it just, it's just come back into my life with right. a vengeance. It is, that. Should Although, be a walk-on. That was more like 92, so I wouldn't go mid-90s on that oh. one. But yeah, I know what you... Yeah. Mean. Anyway. 100. But... What I'm saying is... <laughs> basically, in a roundabout way... After that mini-segue. Is... Nicholson has been threatening to do something special. Last week he did it. Let's see if he can back it up because he took a gigantic step towards qualifying for the European Championship and getting back in big major tournament action 
he has said he wants to be at the World Championship coming up in the old qualifying criteria. So, obviously, they're going to have more places and there are more spots available in the Pro Tour order and merit, but he wants to do it the old Water way to so sort that. of justify his inclusion there without him feeling like, oh, well, I've only got in because I've expanded the field. Yeah. Winner of this face is Stephen Bunting. 121. Peter Jakes has made the faster start in this one. One hundred. And he's well placed for an early break of throw hit. Nicholson on one seven nine needs to make big inroads with Jakes on eighty. Fifty nine. If you require 80. Well, staying straight to the order of the day for both these players with these finishes. There, yeah, nice and straight. Six. Get the spirit level on these first two. Well, Kirk's got one. He could now dig it out. Now would not be the time right, okay. to hold Nicholson up and just say, let me just see how straight that was, <laughs> just for the benefit of the guys in the commentary box. Now, can he use that as a guide? Yes, he can. Tops. Oh. On the first leg. Well, Nicholson, he was in a spot of bother in that first leg, but he comes through with a 120 checkout. And little wonder he celebrates it in the manner in which he did. Now, you mentioned Jake's record against Nicholson. Nicholson was one of his victims on the way to that wonderful PDC Pro Tour debut for Peter Jakes last year. He reached the final of the first Players' Championship event of 2017. He lost to Alan Norris in the final. Yeah, an incredible what day. But he kept beat, on beating big names. He beat Nicholson, Josh Payne, then William O'Connor, and then he beat the two-time world champion Gary Anderson 6-3. He beat Michael Smith. 135. And then he came from two legs down to beat the then world number five James Wade as well. Now, Sometimes you see players going on big runs in the Pro Tour and you think, well, you know, it's opened up for him there or mm. one thing or another. But that certainly can't be levelled at Peter Jakes. Eight. No, he's doing it the hard way there. And that's when he wasn't, a, he, he was topping up the field that weekend as a, a non-tour card holder. And he certainly made the most of it. I mean, he made, looking at it, he made £16,000 from the Pro Tour alone last year. Mm by topping up the field. He got eight grand for making the last 16 of the Players' Championship finals. A further eight grand in Europe. And then, of course, it all gave him a place at the World Championship. He got 11 grand for making that. And then he won two Challenge Tour events as well. So last year, we're looking at a very significant income for, for Peter Jakes. Not as lucrative so far this year, although he did make a quarter final last weekend. Yeah, he is a very, very solid player Peter Jakes very uncomplicated action very reliable good temperament and you know seemingly unfazed by the big names he comes 90. up against still sees himself as little old Peter from Denby Dale Little old Peter, uh, he's a very PJ. dangerous darts player, 1-1. One, one. Lost to Kyle Anderson in the World Championship on his debut at Ali Pali. Beat Daryl Gurney and Kyle Anderson last weekend. 140. Before losing to Jermaine Watamena, who we have been talking about today. Came through his match just about against Wayne Jones. Yeah, one of a number of cracking games. Barry Lynn there looking on. We saw Barry Lynn overcome Chris Doby in a thriller. There have been, I think, off the top of my head, six matches to go the distance today. Just quickly double check that. Yeah. Who this one evening already? Oh, a little scamper to the board for Nicholson. A little hop, skip, and a jump from the asset. This brings us to the halfway point of this evening's action, the culmination of this game, but 
Rapid Ricky Evans, the fastest thrower in the world. Two-time world champion Adrian Lewis against one of the rising stars from the development tour, Ted Evans. Brian Locken, the second Danish player, and look, Per Larsen, the reception he got, the support he got in the Bromby Hullock this evening. I think Brian Locken's going to get something similar. He takes on the Spanish number one, Christo Reyes, and then an all-German affair between Max Hoff and Dragutin Horvat. There will be a German in the next round. Martin Schindler was beaten by Brendan Dolan earlier on, but we are guaranteed either Horvat or Hopp will be in action tomorrow. 65. Yeah, good final dart that from Nicholson, just giving himself that two dart combination potentially in his next visit, and he will be back with Jake's on 237. Mm. And Jake's is still not down to a finish either, so Nicholson in a good position here, a healthy position in this leg. No need to go double double here. And he finds the treble anyway. Okay, the oh. third leg. Well, why not? Very nicely done. A 120 checkout in the opener. A 96 checkout for a 2 1 lead. Yeah, and in both cases, he found the treble 20 that he needed second dart once yeah, just then. His first dart was a decent guide, it was above the bed. The original time for that 120, it was below the bed, and he still found a way through. Perhaps a good sign there that Nicholson is able to make adjustments and find his way to the treble 20, although that's a Six. that's a poor visit. It completely goes against everything I've just suggested. Well, there were many key moments for Nicholson during that run to the semis in Gibraltar, particularly in his quarter-final and semi-final matches against Gerwin Price and Adrian Lewis. His checkout of 58 prompted <laughs> hysterics in the commentary box. Yeah, it was a ridiculous checkout. Was it? Single four, having missed the 18. Moved over to the 14, hit double nine, and then clinched it with a double 18. 108. And he's clinched a 180 there as well. Well, he's got this idea, Paul, that he's trying to. He's changed his throw slightly. He's got this theory. That 134. If the darts are moving through the air less quickly, if they are basically not going as fast when they hit the board, they are more likely to group together. He says if they are Safety. bouncing into each other at speed, then they're more likely to deflect further off, and they're going to deflect out of the treble 20 if I've got one in there and I'm looking to group them together. You saw there that it is a sort of gentle no, throw into the board. He actually looked a little bit loose because it's not going in with authority, and he's had a couple of times where he scampered to the board because he's a little bit concerned about the darts falling out. And that may become a factor over the course of this game. Let's see if he can group these together. And he uses a 25 again to leave the two dark combination. And Sean the fourth leg, Peter J. The leg is pulled to throw first. Yeah, it's taken over nicely this one. Some good stuff from both players. Jake's responding on both occasions. He's fallen behind, and the pressure back on Nicholson on his throw once again here. I don't think Nicholson will mind me saying this, but if you notice the Fitbit on his arm there. Right. Mat matches the colour of his shirt. I think that's by design oh, rather than by... Absolutely. He pays so much attention to detail with things like that. Absolutely. Uh, very much like the American football. I mean, he loves his NFL, does Nico. Um, is it Jerry Rice? He does that as well. Everything has to be just so. And everything was just so there for Peter Jakes. Well, look. The asset has been building his brand for a number of years in PDC Darts. In fact, he's rebuilding it now as a new model, essentially. Doesn't want to be the old asset. Well, he made that point in Gibraltar as mm. well. He, he, he alluded to, or he suggested that he's looking to players like Gary Anderson, Peter Wright, about how to play the game and how to adapt when you move into your 40s. I mean, clearly, Anderson and Wright are playing the best stuff of their careers in their 40s, and Nicholson feels that's the way to go. It was, it's what he wants to do. And um, he's looking to those two players to help him make the next step into the next decade of his life. He's 39 now, so it's a big year next year for him. And um, clearly those two players have been, a, a, or will be, a big inspiration for him. 
said he was a more refined player as well. He was a little bit felt he was a little bit raw, but he, he feels as though he's cleaned himself up and he's become a more refined character, a, a refined player as well. But there are those who say he's you know, still got a lot to do, and he's well aware of that. But all positive signs so far. Jakes with an outside chance, or he was, before hitting that treble five and then putting points on the floor. Had maybe the chance to think about launching a counter-attack here. Nicholson playing catch-up in this leg on his throat. And still playing catch-up. That's trimmed off the 23. 43. Yeah, not down to a finish. He'll be disappointed with that. Yeah, well, he's been taking out those checkouts pretty efficiently, Paul Nicholson, but he's not even down to one after five visits to the board. And 57. Could have gone better for yeah. Jakes. Treble 18 would have left the ball, or would have left 50. Once again, the first start is loose, and he's shaking his head, is Nicholson. He doesn't like that one bit. Good readjustment. Just took a step to the left there. Yeah, and stayed there as well. 21. And you require 86. It's more like it from Nicholson. It was a good recovery, that, but it might be too little too late because Jakes is looking at double 16 for a break of throw. 34. Second one was even further away. 59. And Nicholson will enjoy this if he saves himself here. Because he was a long way adrift in this one. But he's got two darts at tops for a 3-2 lead. Oh, oh my word, he's missed it by a mile. 39. And you wonder if the 52. distance by which his first attempt missed was playing on his mind when he went for the double ten. Hoping and praying that on the fifth leg. Peter Jakes, Jakes doesn't find double eight, but he does. And Game on. Jake's breaks, and that's the first turning point of the match, potentially. Well, they were both convincing wins last year. 140 for Peter Jake's against Paul Nicholson, 6-1 and 6-2. And Nicholson has never actually got more than two legs of Peter Jake's in a game. But you'd have to say that Nicholson's playing better now than he was 100. 15 months ago or so when they met for the first time. Ninety-nine. Two time finalist on the European tour as well is Nicholson. Ninety-seven. And a major winner by way of his success at the Players' Championship Finals. In 2010. 95. Yeah, the only guy to win a major PDC tournament and not get into the Premier League the following year. Needs another. 140. Gets another. Did you require 167? Forces Jakes to go for this. Mm. 83. Will you require 160? Well, this would do him the world of good if he could find a way here. So even if he were to come away with a ton 40. Eighty-eight remaining. So if he does leave himself three darts at a double, right? Quite that good, but he's still asking the question of Peter Jakes. Oh, oh, and he doesn't have the answer. He's missed the big number, and he's left with fifty-five. So he'll just have to tidy this up. Single fifteen, I think here. Oh, he's hit. 31. Oh, he's hit the two. All your well, sixty-eight. What a messy visit that was from Jakes. Oh, 
missing the big number on two occasions there and Nicholson the door is open once again him for him once again he missed darts at tops and tens in the last leg he's missed the dart at double 16 and the way he just paused and stared at that suggested that he felt he threw it well and he fancied his chances but Peter Jake should have had three darts for the leg in this visit mercifully for Peter he only needs the one we've got a bit of daylight between these two yeah 4-2 to Jake's but it could so easily have been 4-2 to Nicholson but often the fine margins are accentuated in a situation like this we're in a first to six format and they can so often prove to be the big big difference especially when you get two or three of these fine margins in fairly quick succession as well and Nicholson knows that 134 of course in that elongated semi-final against Adrian Lewis he had the opportunity to or the further opportunity to get back into contention not so in this first round match best of 11 Six. and Jake's here just One moving along 40. very nicely isn't he well Nicholson currently averaging just a shade under 90 and we've not seen him this year average under 90 very often yes it does happen but usually he ticks along between sort of 90 and 95 that sort of area Chicken. so he'll feel that he's there you see 88 Peter Jake's around about that 92 and he is outscoring Paul Nicholson you can see there 112 first nine after the first One three visits to the board Jake's is you know typically 60 points clear and getting down to a finish after three visits whereas Nicholson is having to take four visits to leave a finish and that stacks up creates more chances for the other guy 140. and Jake's has benefited and he's left himself a nice little two dart check out after three visits to the board here for a double breaker throw and it might be oh well, I was going to say hastening the end for Nicholson but he is making these odd little mistakes Peter Jake getting away with it so far yeah missed the big number on two occasions in his last leg 26 and he scored 26 40 40 40 40 40 40 again with the final dart Anyway, he's left himself 61. Nicholson's on 145. Well, he may only get one dart at a double when he comes back, Peter Jakes. I think he'll probably go 25 for double 18. 90. He requires 61. And he has made a horrendous mess with that previous visit. <laughs> Too good, Peter. That's nearly in the treble. That was nearly in the treble. He got lucky there. My word. All you require, 55. Well, missed opportunities for Nicholson in legs five and six. This has to go. You feel with Jake's waiting on double two two darts at tops for Nico to get back on track it's a hold of throw it's only a hold of throw double ten he wants as well yeah, that might do in the world of good three four only a hold but a very um, that will feel like a break of throw actually given how far adrift he was well he certainly needed that because the way he looked at that effort at double top he pulled it low again not as dramatically low as he did earlier on in the match but I don't think he's feeling particularly confident on that double, despite the fact he pinned it for a Shanghai finish in the very first leg of the match. Well, after nine darts, Jakes was in control nine of that. Six. He was on for an 11 dart break, actually, Jakes there. He was, and he messed it up. And once again, he started strongly, a ton 40, backed up by... Well, only 60 on this occasion, so maybe a glimmer of hope here for Nicholson to secure the break he needs. One hundred visit here without a treble would encourage Nicholson Six. as well that's exactly what's come to pass well he could be turning this game around Let, let's have it right Peter Jakes should have been 5-2 up 87 left after 9 Nicholson not even down to a finish and he's had two visits from 87 and only ended up getting one dart for the leg which he missed now 
that's not good enough, Peter. And it has allowed Paul Nicholson back into this game. And for a change, it's Nicholson on a finish after three visits, while Jakes has taken four visits to get down to one. Mm. Who travel 17 to the left top. Love that route for the 1 4 2. 62. Well. Trouble 19. Well, this should be interesting with Nicholson. He's not had a good relationship with double top over the last three or four legs. But he may be looking to work his way up into it. Maybe that'll help, having pulled his dart low. Because now he can just move on up the board towards the little red bit. Closer than his previous two attempts, but the puff of the cheeks tells you he knows his chance may have passed. Double 16 for Jakes. For a hold of throw and a 5-3 lead. James on the eighth there. And Peter Jake. Jakes. This time it's his turn there. to breathe a sigh of relief. Nicholson was threatening there the break back that he needs, but a missed start at tops ultimately counting against him. And these missed starts at doubles have really hurt Paul Nicholson today so far. In legs five, six and eight. He's had opportunities. He's 5-3 down. 57. Well, they both missed doubles. Similar finishing percentages, around about the 38% mark. It could 41. be pretty much wrapped up either way by now already. And Nicholson knows he only needs one break of throw. And breaking the Jake's throw is something he's not managed to do. So, if, I mean, look, he's got a higher average. They'd love, they would love that average in China. Look at that. It's not anymore. Yeah, well, you see, the thing is with Peter Jakes, I mean, it's not even that bad finishing that is dragging Jakes' yeah, overall is. average down to, to Nicholson's. His finishing's pretty much exactly the same in terms of percentage. It's the bad setup play from Peter Jakes because he's had some shocking efforts at the back end of legs. Look, I mean, exact, exactly the same checkout percentage as when Peter Jakes trying well, to set the shot did. up. He should have had more darts at double than he's had there. But he's just made silly mistakes. Sometimes he's got away with it, sometimes he's been punished. At the minute, he is edging towards a place in the second round to face the bullet Stephen Bunting. Yeah, Bunting here today already in the practice room, preparing for tomorrow. Yeah, he'll be cheering on his mate Ricky Evans in the next game, I think. Of course. 98. All you require, 64. Ricky Evans up against Dennis Nielsen, the Swede. Former strong man. Well, still is a strong man, isn't he? Let's face it. Yeah, he's a strong man, but I don't think he's a competitive strong man. Strong man, yeah. Yeah, on the ninth leg. Well, well moving in the right direction there, Nicholson. Gradually the towards that double 16 bed. Yeah. This time he makes no mistake with the double. That's all he has to do for the time being, hold his throw, and he just has to hope and pray that an opportunity comes along here, although there's very little sign of that so far. As Peter takes, throws in his second 180 of the match. One good leg. That's all Peter Jakes needs. One good leg, and he needs it now, and he started perfectly. 100. Yeah, Nicholson knows he needed ton 40 there. Is that in? 100. The second one wasn't, but the third one was, and 180 the gap. He was shaking his head in disbelief, Nicholson, after that one. Great adjustment, though. Yeah, not for the first time today, he's done that with that second dart after a, a wayward first dart, but it's still not what he wanted. Oh, this is a great leg. Great leg from Peter Jakes. 100. Really, really strong. Leaves himself a makeable checkout after just nine darts. Nicholson needs a maximum here. Even a ton 40 is not enough. He could do it. Oh. 100. Well, a ton 40 would have gotten to a finish, but I think he needed to 
fill them all up to really apply the pressure to Peter Jakes. Doesn't need to go trouble 17 and ball. Muttering away to himself and he comes away. With 97, three match darts coming in for the Yorkshireman. Paul Nicholson can only hit, hope and pray. And it's only 60. Well, he is down to a finish at long last. It's a big finish. It's a Shanghai finale for Nicholson if he gets the chance. Jake's now looking at double 12. That one's further away. And Nicholson will get the opportunity now. Nicholson took out 120 in the first leg. If he takes it out again here in the 10th, we're into a decider once again today. Another potential 11 leg match on day one in Denmark. That's the easy bit. He needs to find the treble. Well, I thought for a moment he might be considering going ball ball, but he's not. He's going to try and find a way through. It wasn't a bad effort. But twice before he'd managed to do that and find the treble 20 for a check out. He couldn't do it a third time, and Peter Jakes wants double six to get the job done. Six four to the Yorkshireman. The asset will not repeat his run to the semis from Gibraltar. Congratulations, a winner again on the European Tour. You've just knocked out a semi-finalist from the last Euro Tour event. I knew Paul's been playing well, so I knew I had to turn up and perform, so... What was it like when he started coming back at you at the end there, and you knew that last leg there, if you don't win that, you don't hold your throw, your second favourite for that match? I do, yeah. I felt as I let him off a couple of legs. First leg, and then I think about nine-ish, but... I was just thinking, I've got to get it done, and then, well, thankfully, I missed that trouble 20 in the last set, so. Well, you've just knocked out one former major champion. It's a world champion that you've got next, Stephen Bunting. But little old Peter from Denby Dale, he can mix it with the best, can't he? I try to. <laughs> you try to? I try to, I try to, yeah, so it's... And you succeeded tonight. Well done, Peter. Yeah. Can I just dedicate this one to my missus, because it's her birthday, and my wedding anniversary tomorrow. And she can't be with me, so, Nikki, I love you. There we go, brownie points for the Terrier. Peter Jakes safely through to the second round. He will take on the bullet, Stephen Bunting, for a place in the last 16. Your flag around.